Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food, and today I want to show you guys how to make a really easy and delicious fruit trifle. This no-bake dessert takes literally 15 minutes to put together, and it's really great for summer or springtime get-togethers. It'll feed a huge crowd of people, so it's perfect for a picnic or a larger dinner get-together, and you can use any type of fruits that you have on hand. I like to use a large combination of fruits, so today I'm going to be using kiwi, sliced bananas, fresh pineapple, which I love. It has that nice sweet flavor. We're going to be using raspberries, blueberries, and a large bowl of strawberries. For the first part of the recipe, I'm going to create a Chantilly cream. So I'm going to whisk together four cups of heavy cream with one cup of sugar. I'm going to whisk this on high speed until stiff peaks form. Once you have your whipped cream ready, and this is what it should look like once it's done, I'm going to transfer it into a separate bowl and I'm gonna set it aside. For our second step, we're gonna whisk together a cream cheese. So I have 16 ounces of whipped cream cheese and I've brought it up to room temperature. I'm gonna transfer it to my mixer bowl along with half a cup of white granulated sugar, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. We're gonna need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I'm gonna transfer everything into my mixer bowl. We're gonna whisk it on high speed for a few minutes just until everything is really well combined. I'm gonna add my lemon juice, just a little bit of vanilla. It's kind of a great flavor to the recipe and my sugar. And now we can start adding our whipped cream into our cream cheese mixture. We're gonna add a little bit at a time, whisk it in all together just until everything is well combined and uniform. And now we can work on putting our dessert together. So I have about 50 lady fingers, and this is essentially sponge cake, just in a more fancy form. If you can't find them at your grocery store or if you wanna make your own sponge cake, I have a great video. It's called How to Make Perfect Sponge Cake Every Time. You can make the exact same video, just prepare the sponge cake in a jelly roll pan, and then just cut them to about this size. And I also have one cup of rosé wine. What we're going to do is every time we're placing the lady fingers into our trifle, we're going to dip them into the rosé wine. It's going to add just the right amount of flavor. It's going to cut through some of that sweetness. It's a great complement to this recipe. For the first step of our dish, I'm going to put together a layer of lady fingers on the bottom of my trifle bowl. And you want to use a, a nice large glass bowl so you can see into it. I'm going to add a generous amount of my cream filling into the bottom of the dish. And this is going to stabilize the lady fingers. It's going to keep them in place. Just spread it evenly across the bottom. I'm adding my first layer of fruit into my trifle. You want to add just a little bit of everything every time you add a layer of fruit. I'm going to add some of my pineapple, my raspberries, my strawberries. So I'm adding my lady fingers into my trifle. We want to soak them in, in the rosé wine every time before we add them into our trifle. Just arrange them evenly across the fruit. And we're gonna add our next layer of cream on top. So you wanna add a generous amount in between. So it's gonna be a layer of cream, fruit, lady fingers, and you wanna do that all the way to the top. I've set aside some sliced strawberry and some sliced kiwi, and I'm creating this decorative band of fruit on the edge of my bowl, and it adds a little extra decadence and extra flair to your dish, and you can use any fruit you'd like for, for this little band. I'm going to decorate the top with the remaining lady fingers that I have. This dish is ready to be served and eaten the moment that it's put together. Now it's also okay to place it in the refrigerator overnight just to let all the flavors really combine together. And now it's time to enjoy our dish. It's almost too pretty to eat. It looks so beautiful on the top. Just take a spoonful and try to get a little bit of everything. Those lady fingers, the fruit, the cream, and place a heaping amount on your dish. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything onto my spoon here. Mm. This is so good. My favorite part is the cream. I love the cream cheese in, the, in that filling. It tastes so good. And then the lady fingers soaked in the rosé wine give this excellent flavor. And of course, all the delicious and the juicy fruit in here. Mm. This is definitely one of my favorite spring and summertime dishes. Make sure you guys try this recipe for your next big picnic or big family get together. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube page. You'll get updates every time I post new videos. And also follow me on Facebook and Instagram.